Today, on the very first episode of Stuff You Just Can't Have, no really, even though it's growing, you just can't have it, we're going to look at some ostrich fern fiddlehead lookalikes. Nearly all ferns have a growth stage where they look like a fiddlehead, and for purposes of this video, we're going to treat the ostrich fern fiddlehead as the true edible fiddlehead in North America. Now, you can read on the internet about other more common varieties that some people also eat. Uh, some people eat the bracken fern, for instance, and they say that if you prepare it properly, it removes the carcinogens it contains. But I don't know if that works, and so I'm not going to cover that. Some people also eat other varieties like the lady fern, which purportedly just isn't that great tasting. And then there's the cinnamon fern that doesn't taste good at all and makes some people feel kind of sick. So when you're looking for fiddleheads, you're looking for two key characteristics. One is the papery onion skin-like husk that is loosely attached and tends to fall away as the fern matures. And the other is the distinct characteristic U-shape or celery rib shaped stalk. Here's the problem though. If you're out looking for fiddleheads at the proper time of year, you'll find a ton of little fiddlehead lookalikes that have brown paper skin. Just look at all these. Seriously, they are all over the place. You even see pictures of these ferns on blog posts, and they're being represented as true ostrich fern fiddleheads. But actually, these don't have the characteristic celery rib shaped stalk. Not now, and not when they get bigger. If you start unraveling some of these and, and squint, you can sort of convince yourself that the stem is sort of hollowed out on the inside, but really it's more just flat on the interior. Oh, and before you get mad at me for picking something I wasn't going to eat, don't worry. I got these from a freshly clear-cut utility right-of-way. Um, this spot's going to be far too sunny when summer comes to support any fern growth, so these little guys unfortunately weren't going to make it anyway. Another thing about these is that the paper skin tends to hang on for a long time, and it will cling to the stalks even as they reach 6 inches in height. The paper skin of true ostrich ferns comes right off, but cleaning these up is a total pain. So what are these paper skin fiddleheads that look so similar to the ostrich fern? These are a somewhat ubiquitous type of fern known commonly as the toothed wood fern or narrow buckler fern. The scientific name is Dryopteris carthusiana. These toothed wood ferns are native to and very common throughout the northeastern US and the upper Midwest and are pretty widely dispersed throughout the rest of the northern and central United States. They are also native to every province in Canada. Historically, these ferns were eaten as a boiled vegetable by indigenous peoples of North America. Not much is known about the chemical components of toothed wood fern. We don't know if it contains carcinogens or if boiling them would neutralize any carcinogens it may contain, but we do know it contains an enzyme known as thiaminase. This enzyme robs the body of vitamin B. This isn't much of a concern, assuming the eater has a healthy diet and consumes only small quantities. Um, and people do eat this fern, but we just don't know that much about it or what's in it. As far as edibility goes, I blanched, sauteed, and tasted a tiny amount, which you definitely should not do. I did it so no one else would have to. Uh, but anyway, they, pay, they taste really bitter. They taste just like a very bitter, generic vegetable. A good way to scout for ostrich ferns is to look for the fertile fronds. These stick generally straight up and are brown and bushy. But don't be fooled by these guys. These are the fertile fronds of the sensitive fern, so named by early American settlers because of its tendency to die back at the first frost. These guys are toxic and they share a lot of the same habitat as the ostrich fern. Speaking of habitat, this is the range where the fiddlehead can be found. I don't know why Michigan doesn't report its county data to the Forest Service, but in Michigan it can be found in the southern lower peninsula and the entire upper peninsula, or so I've read. I wanted to show you this because a lot of plant distribution maps tend to depict the entire state as having the plant even if it has been found only in one county. So according to the map, the most prolific and widespread populations of ostrich ferns seem to be located in the northeast U.S. and in the maritime provinces of Canada, and in fact, the village of Tidehead in New Brunswick, Canada, is the self-proclaimed fiddlehead capital of the world. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the fiddlehead lookalikes video, and um, my parting advice is if you see a really small fiddlehead, and it's got the brown paper skin on it, and you can't see the celery rib yet, you might just need to give that a few days, let it spring up, and you should start seeing that 
that onion skin kind of fall away or start to tatter a little bit and that celery rib shape to the stalk will make itself known and you'll be able to tell. Um, here, just check out this picture and that's what you're actually looking for. If, if you're not getting that celery rib, I don't care how many other characteristics it shares, it's just not worth the risk. We've, we've got documentation that there's carcinogens in ferns and it's not really that well understood how to remove them yet. Um, and really the ostrich fern is the only fern in North America that's really considered the true delicacy that's worth the big bucks at the grocery store anyway. The rest of the ferns, you'll read about people eating them and they're, it's not the same. It's not this incredibly sought after delicacy. It's just this thing people say you can eat if you boil it enough. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Uh, really hope this was helpful to some people who are having trouble with fiddlehead lookalikes and, uh, you know, if you want to see more of this content, please like and subscribe. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care.